Dispatch Your Life. My name is Abram, and I'm coming to you with another video. Uh, this one is coming from a friend of mine. His name is Spencer Amanasek, all the way from Japan. Say hello, Spencer. Hi. Hello, say hello, I say hello. <laughs> all right. Also, before we jump into the content too much today, I want to say that this video is brought to you by ACL Academy. Anyone Can Learn Academy is talking about learning a new language and the culture that goes with it. They do have podcasts, they do have videos that you can watch, books on demand for you to learn as a self-paced study. If you are looking to learn a new language, please check out ACL Academy in the link below. All right, Spencer, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. A little bit about myself. I, uh, what is it? I am a conversation teacher out here in Japan, born and raised in Japan, oops, born and raised in California, uh, San Diego, and I spent most of my childhood and young adult life there, and then decided enough is enough. So I decided to come out to other countries, the first one being Japan. So that's a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a goofball. I want to make it all dramatic. Okay. <laughs> Action. It's all you're the host. And I love to uh, play video games, eat pizza, and uh, make YouTube videos like Abe. So, uh, you know, he's, he's, my, he's my bro, and I'm here to share some of this story with him. Hope that makes sense. Quick fun note. Uh, Spencer was actually the person who's pushed me into making and creating my very first YouTube video on this channel. So if you go way back and you see the video of a machine pouring a beer automatically, you can say thank you to Spencer on that. All right. So Spencer, where in Japan are you right now? In Japan, I am living in Yokosuka, Kanagawa Prefecture. Yokosuka is about an hour and some change, an hour and a half, almost two hours south from Tokyo. And how long have you lived there? I lived here since, I believe, March 2017, so almost uh, four years. That's, that's, uh, that's a pretty lengthy time, and I'm, I'm excited to hear some of your stories coming in from Japan. I've, I was there for a few of them. <laughs> cool and how many countries have you lived in you know to be honest I lived in Japan and in the Philippines a bit uh, and now here in the US so US Japan most of most of my time outside of the US well, most of my time outside the US was Japan that was cool I visited a dozen other countries though but I decided to you know stay within them within months at a time but here we are okay okay and, and so next, I'm going to ask you to tell us your expat story. How did you get started? How did you become an expat? That's a good, that's a good question. Uh, let me see. I believe it all started with... Let me see. The, 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 the entire time I was in the U.S., I you know, was following the American dream, right? I went to school. I did all the things. I followed all the rules. I went to college. Tried to get a job. Couldn't. <laughs> and then I uh, decided to go get the masters that was cool and then that didn't that didn't pan out and at the same time I was I was uh, very dedicated to uh, helping my ailing grandmother uh, the, my, my late grandmother who passed away in 2016 November and that was the time where I had a, an opportunity to uh, kind of travel abroad right it was it was it was the time I decided to just you know, I, I had a friend tell me that my personality and my, 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 who I am as a person would be way more successful outside of the U.S. So I, I took that with the, with wholeheartedly and I was holding on to that story for like three or four years and I decided to just take uh, an, a big adventure and I, and I, I, I discovered that my father who lived outside of the U.S., uh, he lived in Japan, I, I wanted to, uh, to kind of you know, get to know the man better, you know, I wanted to, to learn more about my father and spend some time with him as I grew up and he was working all the time. So, you know, I, I wanted this opportunity for me and him to, to kind of reacquaint ourselves, to kind of reintroduce ourselves as both 
men and people and you know I, I wanted to, to to also connect that part of my life to like reintroduce that part of my life you know so I have that trying to reconnect with my father trying to reconnect this part of myself to get a new challenge and I think that coming to Japan was probably like the oh and also it, Japan is like the easiest way to find a job outside of the US. It's like, if you're looking for a job, that's the place, no doubt about it. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so it sounds like you've had quite a bit of motivation as far as like family and, and also, you know, self-discovery. Uh, what would you say would be the biggest piece of advice for someone thinking about moving abroad? Uh, biggest piece of advice? A lot of questions here. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's go with the biggest piece of advice is number one: expect the unexpected. <laughs> uh, don't don't think that you're the best at something. Always leave room for improvement. Like that's the number one uh, advice I can give. Like just just know what you like. You know what you know, right? Like you know what you know, and you're the greatest. You're the best at what you know. But there's so much more you can know, and until you let go of that, like that type of thinking, that mentality, you won't, you won't grow to the person that you could be. Right? If that makes any sense. Like, leave room for growth. Be honest about what's what's missing, and take full advantage of like the people around you who can give you the help you need to become stronger, especially in the work you want to do. Okay, okay, good, good.